this. China and all you Chinese people. Let me tell you something. Is you start this disease and spread it around the world. Don't let them inside your country neither. We don't want you in Africa. We don't want you in Jamaica. We don't want you in none of the West Indies. Yo, we don't even want you in England, blood. this the Chinese virus. There are reports of dozens of incidents of bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot it of comes from it's China. racist. It's not racist at all, no. Not at all. It comes from China. That's why. As you can see, there's a lot of racism uh, to, towards the Chinese nation people due to the coronavirus pandemic. What this video is out to do is basically to find out people's personal experience, secondly, to find out any charities and organisations that are fighting this racism, and thirdly, what me and you can do to fight this racism. So what I've done is basically managed to get some interviews with some random people to talk about their experience what have, what have they done and what they know about racism due to a pandemic as they so sit back and enjoy uh, this is um, um, someone here who's actually experienced uh, writing uh, grand virus uh, racism so so your name is what you do um, I'm Sylvia I'm working here doing marketing for real estate in the industry cool uh, okay so so we've got some questions for you. So, um, so have, have you basically experienced or seen uh, or heard any racism committed to you or your, any one of your friends, basically? Yeah, I have some personal experience. Uh, it was when the outbreak just happened in China. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, I think it's early Jan or early February. Um, and uh, that happened in West London. When, oh. I, when I was just basically walking there, minding my own business, there's uh, one guy came to me and said, I hope you didn't bring the coronavirus from China. And sure. yeah, that happened basically. Just, I was really shocked at the time. And when I said, when I responded to him, like, um, that's racism. And he was like, fuck you, go back to your country. Did you report it to the police or someone authority? Or? I actually contacted journalists at the time. Actually, the journalists contacted me and then I went to Channel 4 and told my story. Channel then, 4 as well? Yeah, and then I got just uh, overwhelming responding um, to that program also to me personally and some friends and also friends of friends telling their stories about um, the reason uh, happening to them. I haven't had any racist attacks um, on myself personally. Um, I have heard uh, one of my relatives who, who on the underground has had people tr avoid her just because she's Chinese. So people um, kind of, she's standing here and then there's like a big bit of space around her. Um, and, and that was just I mean, on the um, tube. Did she do anything because of that? Did she point it out? No, no, because she didn't know. Um, I mean, she didn't want to make a big fuss out of it. So, so that was the reason why she just left it. Plus nobody actually attacked her. They were just assuming she had the virus because she's Chinese. Um, so, so obviously, I know she told me she was really annoyed about it, but, um, but that didn't kind of warrant her to right, it, I, do I it. It's not, it's not only just the underground, it's probably just general uh, areas, like shopping areas, just streets, people yeah. say, is a Chinese person. I mean, they stay yeah, exactly. the So I know from what I've heard is um, some teen, teenagers have abused um, some Chinese students at the university and have basically told them to go back home to China and don't bring their virus to the UK. Um, I've also heard a nurse who, who was um, basically told to go back to China, who was threatened um, to be attacked. And, and basically this, this nurse was actually a Filipino, but um, you know, yeah. people of this Asian, Asian appearance, course. yeah, also, have been attacked, so it isn't, it isn't just Chinese people, but actually anyone who looks East Asian. I, I heard um, from the Chinese, I mean, the university instance, um, they were not only um, abused, they was actually attacked physically as well. The, the, the crowd yeah. tried to gain into the university, didn't they? So. Yeah, so they just pushed them around, they, they tried to, they actually followed them back to the dormitory and started just 
shouting at them, spitting at them, um, that kind of thing. Yeah, so they so they literally just followed them all all the way towards their dormitory. It's, it is awful. Um, I know the university has um, put up signs say saying like um, to treat the um, Chinese students with re respect and not like um, abuse yeah. them. Uh, yeah. And and I also heard um, some Chinese people have been have had stones thrown at, thrown at them as well. Really? Um, is that, is yeah, that so, so, yeah. walking about or is that just um, trying yeah. to take away that? Uh, walking about, so just walking about, doing their own thing in the street, um, getting stones thrown at them, being called virus and that kind yeah. of stuff. So, so, so yeah, it's, um, it is horrible to hear that in my lo local area because it makes me nervous to go. Uh, my name is Sarah and I'm just doing um, research right now. Oh, great, awesome. Yeah. Um, so I got um, first question basically. So, have you experienced or seen or heard instances of racism related to you or anyone that you know? Yeah, I actually have um, my Japanese friend who has recently experienced racism just because of like the coronavirus and everything that's been going on. Um, and she had a really like emotional experience and it was really difficult for her. So. Oh really? So, so what, what, what happened to her? So there was um, a woman on the tube who was saying derogatory terms to her. And, like, really like um, telling her like, like because she's Asian, like I don't want to get a disease from you. I don't want to get anything from you. I don't want to get coronavirus. Just making her feel extremely uncomfortable. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Oh, so, so, and did she take any action? Did she go to report to the guards? She in didn't the report to anyone, unfortunately. Yeah. I told her to do that, but yeah. she was too scared, and yeah, it was just a really, um, a really bad experience. For her. So, over the last couple of months, as I've been experiencing different levels of it feels like a little bit of hostility so you've got little mutterings it might be on the bus and it might be them saying the the, the c word and uh and then it makes you feel uncomfortable and uh if you then ask them uh, sorry do you say something so so, so what happened in the bus with i mean do they just walk away sit further away from you or no they just they... sort of stood adjacent to me i was stood in, on the next to the uh, the exit door he was stood on the other side and uh, you could just hear him just muttering stuff under his breath and then uh, you could then start to make out the different uh, uh, words that he was saying and then uh, so, uh, and then you try to do the polite thing and say sorry mate do you say something um, and then just go, then it just says the word chink um, so I've had instances where I walked across the park and I've had people uh, calling me a Chinese virus and uh, uh, telling me to go back to my own country and uh, different things like that Um, I even have uh, friends that have told me that their kids ha um, have had some horrible stuff said to them at school to the point where they've said, uh, I don't want to be Chinese anymore. And that to me is just very heartbreaking to hear those sort of words that kids have been um, saying horrific things to uh, can you, other kids. Can you say some of the stuff, I mean, on camera, what, 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 I mean, like, like chink or um, Chinese forest or what? It could be Chinese forest, it could be go back to your own country. Oh, don't touch me, you're infected, you're a virus. <laughs> or, um, I don't want to be anywhere near you. Uh, or, uh, uh, you know, uh, you eat dogs and, you know, uh, the whole thing about the bats and so on and the insults on your food and culture and so on. And for a kid growing up to hear these sort of things, it's uh, I, I, I'm not quite comfortable with uh, uh, hearing the words anyway. But as a parent, and uh, if I know the, the, uh, the kid question, which uh, my friend's kids, for instance, in this example, um, it, it moves me to feel like I want to do something. It feels like I want to call up the school or I want to take some sort of action here because um, this shouldn't be, this shouldn't happen. This is. I mean, what's not. the kid's age? Are you talking about who's. No. Go. Uh, varying. So I've had different friends from ages seven to uh, the teenage years, so like 15, 16, uh, and it's a, a similar enough sort of theme when not your guy, girl, and so on. Um, these, these, these sort of things uh, have happened. Okay, so. Um, so, so what do you think um, the rise of this uh, racism? Is that because of um, coronavirus? Is that Donald Trump? Is that what's the reason behind it? Basically, I think I think there are two aspects. One is the historical. Historically, people are, I think, 
there are some cultural differences between us in Chinese and uh, people from the West. Yeah. We don't. They are not really trying to understand us. We and seeing that China is actually the power is increasing. They got a little bit afraid. That's. I think that's one of the reasons. Another reason, I think, is because the media um, they trying to bring the drama to this to the thing and trying to point in their fingers to Chinese. Um, and that's when people get really infected, uh, affected by the thought of the China creating this virus and we are the evil ones. So, so you, you think it's just a media conspiracy basically? Not conspiracy, the media are trying to draw attention to themselves, that's yeah. the way they're making their lives, but they're also not really focusing on the people that they are trying to help. They're really creating the facts, the facts, and, uh, and, and they're so, well, do, you, do you not think Donald Trump's uh, the famous when he cuts off in mean, John as far as his family? Yeah, well, he definitely played a big part. I mean, yeah. he's a huge part. Well, yeah. he's the president of the United States. Yeah. He's the president of the United States. Exactly. And he's a partner, so definitely he plays a big part. And people actually listen to him. He knows how to manipulate his mind. Yeah, um, yeah definitely. Yeah, so so I think the primary reason is um, due to the um, coronavirus. So um, so the coronavirus originating in China, and apparently the scientists have said it's jumped from bats within China to humans. Um, and then what what's happened is um, is people in the West, in the UK, in the US, Australia, France, etc. Um, some certain racist people um, then blamed Chinese people for the virus. Um, Either they blame us because it's our eating habits or certain certain Chinese people's eating habits, and then they just lump us all in under the same umbrella and that we all eat bats, that we're all kind of responsible um, as a collective for this virus. And because that's harming people within the country and harming the economy as it is now, they've basically scapegoated all of this these problems onto us, i.e. Um, we're we're the ones at fault, even if we're nothing to do with the virus, even if we've not even been to China oh, recently. And you also think Donald Trump's incited a lot of the racism around the world, especially um, when I was called in Sainsbury's uh, Chinese virus, and that was a quote directly from him. Uh, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, he's the, he's one of the person who incites a lot of racism, um, not only to the US, but which affects all the other communities around the world, the Chinese community and the other other races that he has affected basically. Yeah, definitely. I, I think he's definitely incited it because um, by calling it Chinese virus, you're kind of um, blaming it on Chinese people, like the Zika virus, which originates in Brazil. They didn't call it the Brazilian virus or H1N1 originates in Mexico. They didn't suddenly call it Mexican virus. So, okay. you know, you don't want stigmatize entire countries and entire groups of people. Yes, definitely Trump is um, playing the game to, to be elected on the general on the next campaign. And there is a fight against uh, to be the leader of the economic in the economic terms. So US is also trying to stop China to be to lead the economical uh, area. It's a mixture. There's a lot that has sort of been building up to him. We've got the Brexit over in the UK that has been building up and that has generated a certain amount of hostility to um, all, all, all people that aren't of, uh, of a white skin. And so so Brexit ha is one, of course, of racism. It has uh, racism. been a trigger. It's, been, it's brought more right wing uh, people out. That's why you have your Tommy Robinson starting to rally people up and increased amount of hate in the air and people now feeling like it's very easy enough, enough to have casual racism by actively openly saying this now while walking up and down the street and say the first foreign person I see I'm going to say something horrific to them and as a result and then back to a few of your points as you mentioned Donald Trump the way he's wording of the languages calling it a Chinese virus and keep blaming China 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 and we have all seen the press conferences we've gone online we've uh, as a result, you hear people saying, oh, if he can say it, I'm going to say it now. And that's the sort of attitude that's now starting to become so casual, so easy for people to follow uh, an example by a world leader uh, to say these things. And as a result, this is um, 
generating a, a, a culture of, of hate and uh, uh, against diversity, against uh, culture, against... <laughs>
There's not enough reporting of hate crime. There's not enough people uh, dismissing it. I'm guilty as much as that as uh, anyone else is. So, so would you suggest people actually uh, contact the police directly or is there, is there um, bodies to, that we can go to regarding hate crime, basically? They've got to, it's really, really important to report it. So any way you can report it, you don't have to necessarily go down to a police station to report it. You can go onto the police websites uh, in London, it's obviously metpolice.uk, um, but you can go to and, and report these issues and uh, someone from the uh, contact centre would then get in touch to actually start recording this data. The main issue is that if you don't record this information, um, there's very little information that can then be fed enough to uh, local governments, councils, the police as a whole, uh, and drumming up that awareness to people that uh, this is a real problem. <laughs>